I am Mike. I'm a young doctor from the Philippines. If this is your first time to join us, we talk about anything related to pre-med, med proper, clerkship, PLE, USMLE, and beyond. Welcome to The Better Pill, your weekly prescription of tips and insights to become better students, better interns, and better doctors. So today we are inviting again a previous guest. He just took the USMLE Step 2 CK just yesterday. In his pre-med, he graduated cum laude at the Ateneo de Manila University, BS Psych, in 2015, and graduated magna cum laude at the University of Santo Tomas Faculty of Medicine and Surgery. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome again my idol, Dr. Arvin Jeremy Tan. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Ikaw yung, bro, ikaw yung idol, bro. bro. <laughs> <laughs> Grab bro no uh you took the PLE we took the PLE uh November 10 11 15 and 16 and you took the US MLE step 1 uh few days after the exam I think December 9 December 9 yeah tama That's then, correct Then you took the OET yung English exam no May uh, yeah, then May. yesterday took the USMLE step to CK. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, grabe bro, no? What, when we ask around bro, no? Advice ng karamihan. Dapat daw one step at a time. Huwag mo raw pagsabayin yung USMLE and PLE. Pero ikaw bro, no? Solid yung step one score mo. Tapos imagine mo bro, no? In less than a year, you had taken three major exams. Tapos yung one minor exam yung English exam, no? Congrats, bro. No, wow. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> it was thank really you. a test of your endurance and grit. <laughs> endurance. Yeah, then, no? <laughs> oh my goodness. Endurance more than anything else. Because you know, it was very tiring and you know, super ultimate delayed gratification. Um, super duper delayed, bro. Uh, I think the temptation was you know, to... The temptation was... Siyempre, diba, you want to get things... Everybody naman wants to get things done as fast as they could. I think the temptation is um, to do it too quickly. Um, so, I think ano, you have to... Magand, you have to plan it. Kumbaga, ano, if you have a... Just get a pen and, and paper or ano, something. Make it concrete. Lagay mo, sulit mo na. Um, ito yung, these are my goals. Parang, and then, have some room for adjustment and mga a few months tapos tell yourself okay i can't go beyond these days these dates at so at least concrete in your head na uh, this is how much time uh, you're going to prepare for it uh, for the for the exams and um yun uh, may may pacing alam mo may ano kami six month plan you know what i mean hindi yung so i think that helped Grabe yung planning mo bro, no? kasi nung clerk pa tayo, habang nag-take ka ng vital signs ng pasyente, habang nakapila, nakikita kita ng sumasagot ng mga Q-banks eh. <laughs> Sobrang solid ng step one mo eh. So, dalawa lang yung question ko bro. First question, how will you compare yung preparation for USMLE step one, USMLE step two, and PLE? Um... Kasi bro, considering bro ah, sabay-sabay mo silang tinake eh. <laughs> hindi, hindi sila one by one eh. Hinalo mo silang lahat eh. So, <laughs> paano ba bro? Uh, well, it, all three exams are different. Um, in style, in scope, tsaka in content. Um, so, each one requires a different strategy. So, out, of all, the, out of the three, PLE yung pinaka vague. Vague in terms of everything kasi they can test. And they, they can test it in different ways. And it's uh, it's the most unpredictable, pretty much. Every year, nagpapalit siya. Um, you know, in demo, you, you never know what you're gonna get. Sabi nga ni Forrest Gump. Ganun yung PLE. Um, which makes it very hard to prepare for. Kasi you don't know what you're, what you have to consume. Or you have to read as, me, as much as you can. Uh, very detail-oriented including the guidelines, usually they test ba, par how do you classify CAP-MR, then ilang points, and ano, para makago, just to arrive at 
an answer for one question. Because a different question will require a different guideline. But sometimes no guidelines come out. So you know it's a it's a it's it's hard to prepare for PLE. Step one, what I like about it is it's it's super. It's not it's it's predictable. It's um there are patterns here. Eh? Like like what uh people will say is na ano uh you, you know what you're going to be tested on. Uh, alam mo na these are the topics that they really want you to know. Um, and that they'll test you on it. The difference lang is they'll test you. Uh, the yung permutations ng questions will be different, champer. Um, but in the end, the patterns are there. Uh, you know, they they test you on certain key things that that must knows. So most resources like first aid, mga ganun, really cover everything. And if you read that very well, you'll you'll be successful. So that's that's what's nice about step one. Step two, it's like in between. Step one and PLE in terms of uh, scope. Step two tests everything also um, clinically, which is a lot. And syempre, since clinical, it's guideline based also, so evidence based. And evidence changes every every month, sometimes every month, every six months, every year. So you're unsure where to get your resources. I think that's one of the hardest parts of step two is there's no concrete resource, and it, if you read mga mga the Harrison's and hindi lang naman I am yung test you have surgery also di ba alam mo yun um the ref the the hardcore reference the main references uh will provide you a lot of information tapos you don't know also if tama ba lahat ng absorb mo and it's impossible to absorb everything so I think that's one of the hardest parts of step two tama ka bro no di ba sa Sorry bro, yun sa step 1 bro, no? diba yung first aid, every year yung ina-update? Pero yung first aid ata nung, si- nung step 2, parang every 3 years or 4 years, no? kaya medyo sabi, tama ka nga yung guidelines, parang hindi na-update dun. Yeah, totoo. Um, and ano, um, what do you call this? Um, ang daming, ang daming pwedeng itest eh. Kasi for example, congestive heart failure, ang daming, pwede, pwede kang gumawa ng 1,000 questions on congestive heart failure alone, um, in different styles, in different permutations, and it will still test congestive heart failure, but you don't know, you can't truly really prepare for it, because there's, you can have a general, you can, the best you can, and daming pwedeng itanong about it. So just, for just one topic, uh, for what, just one disease entity, and and daming disease entities, lala na since the U.S. is such a big country, such such a diverse um, population, and they really try to re- represent every um, the whole U.S. population in the exam. So they really try to to get as many diseases as possible, from TB to to the tick-borne illness or the autoimmune diseases, na hindi common sa Philippines, pero common in other areas. So um, it's really so it's different talaga. Um, uh, but it's it's really nice. It's fun to prepare for step two. Step one, it's uh, it hassle to prepare for it. Cause I know, eh, alam mo yun, parang it's basic. It maganda, It's good to have a strong step one foundation. Cause it will carry you through everything else. Um, if you, it's the basics. Eh, building blocks masha. Kumbaga, if you were learning how to form words. If you know the alphabet very well, you will succeed. Ganun yung sa step one and step two progression. Uh, if your step one foundation is good, you'll have an easier time with step two. And then you build on it. You're just building, you're, you're pretty much building on step one knowledge. So step two is fun to prepare for. Kasi, I know, um, clinical eh, magagamit mo siya. Lala na if you have, uh, if you're practicing as a moonlighter or a GP, Gagamit mo siya as in from, from colonoscopy guidelines. Alam mo ka agad na, oh, pasyente ko 50 years old. I have to advise about colonoscopy. Magagamit mo siya talaga. So, and then sometimes they ask you, Doc, ano bang kailangan kong mga ano, health maintenance, check-up, mga ganun. Ang dami, dami niyang uses. And, uh, mas matatandaan mo siya kasi you saw a patient. Tapos na power relate mo dun sa, ano, sa preparation. So bro, in terms of time, sino ang mas 
pinaka time consuming step 1, step 2 or PLE sa aral bro sa preparation. Um PLE pa rin yung pinaka nakakapagod and time consuming. Kasi ang dami mong babasahin and babalikan. Um step 1 and step 2 almost yeah, pretty much the same. Ganun din, uh, dami mong babasahin. Pero mas may, you have resources kasi that you uh you have question banks that help you learn faster and you know um smarter kumbaga uh you ha- you're able to retain information better because of the few banks which are really made which are made really well um so because of the resources it's much it's hardest to prepare for the PLE in terms of time and effort um versus mm, ang laki ng bagay nung Cubans pro no kasi lahat nandoon eh. Mm, yeah. Versus PLE, kanya-kanya kang ano eh. Kanya-kanyang resources kung tas magki-critic ka pa, okay ba tong resource na to? Okay ba to? That's true. Oh, uh, that's true. Tapos hindi ka pa sure kasi nobody's really nobody sure kasi um anything under the sun literally can be, can be asked of you. Uh, so, yun. Kaya, mahirap yung PLE for you. At, kumbaga, sa mga exam, yun ito yung pinaka-mahirap paghandaan talaga sa PLE. Hindi siya yung pinaka-mahirap na exam kasi sometimes they release these um, exams that aren't as challenging. Pero, siya yung pinaka-mahirap paghandaan. Definitely. Kasi hindi mo alam yung scope, no? yung outline. Wala kang outline. Uh, yeah. Parang sinabihan na, balikan mo lahat nung inaral mo ng med school. Tapos itetest ka namin on a uh, four day period. Pero hindi namin sasabihin ano exactly yung ite-test namin or ano. Uh, mga core competencies uh, or core competent core competencies mo dapat lahat lahat ng tong subjects ato alam mo. <laughs> so alam mo yun. Ang pati yung core competencies mo hindi eh, ang, ang ang laki ang dami talaga. Ang dami mong kailangan. Scope talaga ng PLE is different. So bro no uh, yung summary nung question number one ko yung preparation PLE uh, unpredictable pero yung step one more predictable tsaka merong first aid na material so merong kong outline versus step to CK na guidelines based so pag step to bro anong magandang resource ba um uh, magandang is mga Qbank Qbank yung ano best resources for step two kasi Every question is like a patient simulation. Um, so, uh, yung higher order thinking skills mo are really used very well. And it allows you to retain information much better also. So, yun, UWorld. Uh, UWorld, um, yung sa AMBOS and sa USMLE RX. So, lahat ng QBank. Any QBank will, will really, it's really the best resource for step two. Yung, uh, actually, yung first aid step 2, step 2, it's also a good resource. Um, it's, it's hard to digest lang kasi it's like an encyclopedia of information. Pero if you've read it once, tapos if I had enough time, if I had more time, after mag bank and I want to read, reread step 2, ano, CK na first aid, It's a uh, andaming nuggets of information that kumbaga ano siya condensed lahat into that format. Um wala yung explanation isn't there. Kaya mahirap siyang tandaan kasi hindi mo alam kung saan mo siya gagamitin. Um pero pag meron ka ng context because you did few banks and you go back to it, it will be it will be you read it differently, much much differently. So it's also it's a good read. Lahat nandoon, lahat ng mga importante nandoon, which is also good. Agree ako dyan, bro, no? Yung sinabi mo na iba yung nagbasa ka ng libro, ng, ng libro or nung nag-browse ka ng flashcards na pre-made post-QBank versus nag-anki ka or nag, nagbasa ka ng libro pre-QBank. Kasi iba nga, may, sabi mo nga, nagkakaroon ka ng context, eh. Yeah. No. Parang nag, nagkaka-framework na yung isip mo, eh. Yeah. Iba yung learning, bro, no? Pag post-QBank. That's true, that's true. It's like, It's like, ano, in actual practice, if you see a patient, na curious ka about a patient, the disease entity, you read up on it, you remember the disease very, very well. 
because you were curious about it, you saw it in actual practice, and then you supplemented with extra reading. Um, it's much even be- It's even better if you read beforehand. You saw the patient, and then you re- reread it. So, um, yung yung that whole sequence of um, gaining new ma- learning new material uh, really just solidifies the information in your head, which is what you want. Because you want to be sure of what you know. Um, kasi madaming conflicting ideas. Bro, audition lang sa sinabi mo, no? Yung pag may nakita kang pasyente, tapos naging familiar ka, diba ganun sa clerkship, internship? Mm-hmm. Ganun yung napapansin ko, bro, kapag sumasagot ako ng, ano, eh, ng U-World, parang nagiging pasyente ko na rin siya, eh. Yeah. Parang nasa isip ko, ah, parang may naging, gan- kaya sobrang ganda ng Q-Banks, bro, no? nung pinagsabay natin yung PLE tsaka USMLE. Parang, dumadama yung experience natin na virtually nga, nga lang pero parang ganun yung idea bro eh yeah. parang nakikita mo yung pasyente yeah that's true um, and I think oh tama yun kasi in the case conferences and ano naman and, and small group discussions or uh, small you know round table discussions it's almost the same diba? they present a patient they give you the details uh, they give you clinical information then you have to, to make decisions based on that or you have to Uh, discuss the impression or debate about the management based on the information given. You don't always actually really see an actual patient um, unless you're in a busy practice. Yung, kumbaga, ano, kung, kung sports to, yung practice natin, the 90% of it is uh, yung training mo, is yun yung pag, pag, pagbasa, pag, pagtingin ng mga clinical um, uh, vignettes. Um, and then yung actual game mo, yung actual na laro mo, is, or yung laban mo, is um, kapag kahap mo yung pasyente, kasi everything there has to be quick, di ba? Quick, efficient, tama, dapat natin ginagawa mo. So, um, kaya it's a good simulation. The Q-Bank, I think, is one of the best, uh, the best way to, to really prepare for your families to, to do the Q-Banks. Ang ganda nung term mo, bro, no? Best simulation. Ang ganda. Ganun talaga yung nangyayari, bro. Pag nag-Q-Bank ka ng yung mga dang cubic bro hindi yung hindi yung samplex samplex <laughs> that's it that's tapos bro second question bro how would you compare actually baka nasagot mo na kanina eh yung difficulty ng step 1 step 2 and PLE um difficulty wise i think i know well that's that's a hard question to answer kasi ano it's a different magkakaiba yung mga exam So, um, pero bro, you, you always say, no, nung nag-aaral tayo for PLE, na yung step 1 and step 2, step 2, complementary. Yeah, complementary sila. Kasi ano eh, um, the style of questioning is almost, the, the way they present a question is similar in terms of wording, the style, uh, the structure, how they compose the sentences. Um, so you know what you're gonna get. Um, tapos the ideas, yung the central core, the, yung, the whole, I don't know what, what term you to use to describe it, pero the whole design of the exam, talagang pinag-isipan talaga. And you can, you can, you can, you can, you can see it, no, when you, when you prepare for it, when you experience it. Um, it, it all comes together. So, in terms of that, para sa akin, nahihir pa rin yung PLE kasi nga, ano siya, Um, kasi unpredictable I, and unpredictable in a sense na hindi mo naman pinapredict talaga yung lalabas eh. ang predictability is uh, yung pag-upo mo on exam day kahit papano alam mo na uh, 90% ng inaral mo magagamit mo or y- alam mo yun yung kahit yung hindi mo inaral or yung um, stuff that you encountered back in med school or in clerkship it will help you pero may Not me. Something few. Me something distressing about not having that. You know that comfort. Na parang pagupu mo. There's a chance na lahat ng alam mo hindi mo lang lumabas. Alam mo yun, which is hard. But I think with the steps, when you sit on exam day, you know at least kahit 50% of what you prepared for will come out. So there's yung that comfort of uh, going into an exam. Um, And you feel like you've done your best, and you can actually use everything that you. Hindi na sayang yung oras mo. I think that is uh, one of one way, good way to put it. Uh, you made good use of your of, of your preparation time, and you were actually able to use everything. 
Tama ka bro, no? Nung, actually, nung PLE, ako nalungkot ako eh, kasi may isang resource na ginamit. Hindi ko nabasa. Tapos, y- dun marami lumabas na <laughs> talong eh, no? Yun ang downside ng PLE. Yeah, yun lang yung ano, one of the things that's super challenging about it, though. The unpredictability. So, sa summary ko yung mga, ano, no? So, in terms of preparation, bro, PLE talaga, unpredictable talaga. You know? Yeah, no. Walang, ano, mo. Wala magdi-disagree doon. Tapos sa uh, difficulty, ganun din bro, uh, mahirap ang PLE talaga kasi hindi mo kayang ma walang isang resource na pag yun lang ginamit mo na magiging confident ka. Yeah. Unlike sa step 1 and step 2, kapag naging loyal ka lang sa isang resource or dalawa, more or less magiging confident ka. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, more uh, kung baga, ano. Um <laughs> And kung visually mo siya i-represent, sa PLE, pwedeng naghanda ka ng, kung pupunta ka sa isang battle, tapos naghanda ka ng lahat ng equipment mo. Sa PLE, may chance, malaking chance, na pagdating mo dun sa battle area, hindi tama yung dinala mong equipment. Alam mo yun? Nung naghanda ka, I mean, <laughs> nag-prepare ka talaga, di pa yung hindi mo, tapos wala kang nagamit ni isa. Uh, <laughs> ni isa dun sa dala mo. May, it it does happen. <laughs> yeah, I think it it hap- it it's happened. Talaga. It it it's happened to me also during PLE. Um, what's nice about the steps um, is yeah, alam mo yun, yung you when when you pag na pick up yung pinick up mong mga kagamitan magag mag pag nila mo dun magagamit mo siya kasi it's the right if you prepare right ano it's the right resource. Ita yeah, bro. Actually bro, nakatulong yung prep natin sa step 1 sa mismong PLE, no? In terms of basic sciences. That's true. And in terms of basic Special sciences, so, everything. Uh, and, and just consolidating all the information, which is what's important naman with any board exam is to make sure that you have the basics and you know how to put it all together. So ayun bro, no? You, you took the four major exams. Ay, three major, exa- three major exams tsaka isang minor exam in less than eight months, no? So, do you have, bro, ano, any final message sa mga gustong mag-take din ng ganito? Good luck. Uh, keep the faith. Kasi it will be hard. I, it will, there, will be, there are a lot of moments where you will feel like ayaw mo nang i-continue. Kasi lalo na now that we're unable to go out and, and study and either in a library, in a coffee shop, and that matters a lot. So, stuck at home, you know, and mahirap yan. So it's really difficult, but um, take care of yourself when you prepare. You want to be, you want to keep your sanity, uh, because your mind has to function well. Yung puhunan mo dito is your your mind, eh. so all aspects of it has to be kept well. So exercise, uh, do the things that you like, um, and then just keep at it. Make 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 uh, do things that will make you happy. So that you're able to go into the exam with high spirits. Really, that's that's uh, the end, and uh, the end goal. Um, and good luck, uh, Kainian. Wow, thank you, Doctor Arvin Tan. No, <laughs> grabe. Thank Eight you, months you. for exams. <laughs> grabe. Yes. So wala pa tayong ano the bro no score reveal ng step 1. So sa next episode siguro nababalik ka. Sana may <laughs> sure, score sure. reveal tayo para malaman nila yung kalibre mo. <laughs> Or hulaan niyo na. So good luck. <laughs> thank you bro. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So no for matching ka na bro no sa states no? Hopefully, hopefully. I hope all goes well. <laughs> If not, we try again. <laughs> Sure, sure, match yan, bro. So, so thank you again, <laughs> Dr. Arvin. Sana lang ang helga. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. And then we pay it forward, of course. So, this has been Mike. Catch us again next week for your refill prescription of The Better Pill. <laughs>